you please put your hands together for Mr. and Mrs. Phelan? It is a blessing to be with you on this uh, Sunday afternoon. Isn't it wonderful how the, the clouds cleared and the rain stopped and the sun came out? And uh, it is a blessing to be the uh, sheriff of Fairfield County. And in 2012, September of 2012, two years ago, we had 320 people in the Fairfield County Jail. Today, we have about 180. We've lost about a third. So we're heading in the right direction. And, um, you know, my walk with Christ began many, many years ago. I, I wasn't a, a follower of Jesus Christ until I was almost 40 years old. And when I accepted Christ as my Savior, it has dramatically changed my life. And I tell you right now, from a person that's made a lot of mistakes in their life and seen a lot of tragedies, um, it is the best decision you'll ever make. More important than who you marry, more important than the job you have, more important than anything is to accept Christ as your Savior and your eternity is secure at that time. And what a wonderful blessing that is. You know, in the Bible, in the book of Luke, it tells about the prodigal son. And the prodigal son was a young man that took his father's inheritance and he left. And the father gave him his inheritance and he left and he went, it says in the Bible, to a faraway country, and he spent it on wild living. He did all these kind of things that were just were awful. And he got hungry. He didn't have a job. And finally, he was eating like what the pigs eat. And he kind of came to his senses and came back to his father. And his father welcomed him. And just like Jesus welcomes us, we can never do anything too bad, too awful, because Jesus is gr greater, his grace is more than our disgrace every single time. And everyone has done things in their life that they're sorry for, myself included. Everyone has made mistakes. Everyone has fallen short of the glory of God. But when you are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ, God can see your sins no more. They're covered. They're covered. Never seen again. So if you're here today and you haven't accepted, accepted Christ as your Savior, don't wait another day. I mean, you look in the paper every morning and you look at obituaries. And I can tell you, being a, a law enforcement officer now for 44 years, I've been with people in the last minutes of their life, whether it be a car accident, some kind of tragedy, a day that started out just like you and I, we start another day. And I can tell you in that last few minutes of life, People aren't saying, well, I, I, you know, how much is in the bank, or I've got to get my yard mowed, or I want to go out and party. They don't say that. Because the reality is, in that last few seconds, the only thing that makes any difference is your relationship with Jesus Christ and those that are going with you. Everything else doesn't mean anything. And we'll all face that day. We'll all face that day. Every person here, 100 years ago, probably 50 years from now, will not be here. And they'll be in one of two places. They'll either be in glory with Jesus or they'll be in hell. And that's a place you do not want to be. And that's the reality. There'll be one of two places that you'll be. Every one of us, every person that was ever born, whether they accept Christ or not, they will one day give an account to their life before Jesus Christ. And God will say, well done, good and faithful servant. Or he will say words that no one wants to hear, Depart, I do not know you. And I'll tell you, I would rather have never been born than to hear that, Depart, I do not know you. So this is the day, and maybe, you know, God's nudging your heart, but this could be the day of salvation. Don't wait another day, because tomorrow is guaranteed to no one. I want to introduce my wife, Loretta. Uh, it's been a blessing to have a godly wife beside me uh, for, for uh, about 25 years now. She's been my support, my rock, and uh, she, she really helps me out in, in some difficult times, and she's a wonderful person, Loretta Phelan. Well, I guess anytime I get to talk in front of a group of people, I just want to say, Jesus loves you, <clears throat> and Jesus wants you. And uh, I know from experience, we all have messes in our lives, and he's a God of second chances. 
And sometimes people say, well, I can't come to Jesus yet because I'm a mess. Well, guess what? We will be a mess until we come to him because we can't clean it up ourselves. Only he can. And I know that's why Danny's here and that's why um, there's so many people here that love the Lord because the Lord loves you and he created you and he wants you as his. And he doesn't want anybody to, to perish in hell. He wants you to live a victorious life. So, um, you know, I came from, from a mess. And, um, and he saved me and he changed me and he changed my life. And that doesn't mean I don't go through valleys and, and hit rock bottom sometimes. But he is the rock when we're at the bottom. So... Um, Whoever's out there, you know, it seems it's a simple decision and we all have to make it. We're either going to say no to Jesus or we're going to say yes to Jesus. And um, say yes because um, he will always be there for you. He loves you. He made you. He created you for something special. So God bless you all and I pray um, that his spirit will touch you and you will feel that love the love we're all searching for it's right there just say jesus come to me let me help me to serve you help me to be the kind of person you want to be your spirit can change me in jesus name Amen. put your hands together for him one more time as God, dirt comes back. Anybody watch Channel 4, Channel 10 News? You watched 12 o'clock last Monday, perchance? You missed me. I was in the news. Yeah, I, I opened up this club in uh, Columbus called California Fitness. I work out a little bit. You see that? Oh, I saw her face like, oh, I recognize you now. Well, it was some guys shooting some bullets, and I'm sitting at my desk reading my Bible like I always do. And the bullets came flying through the window, and the bullet landed right there. I looked at it. And so when they interviewed me at the news, they said, were you scared? I was like, no, I wasn't scared, man. I'm a preacher. Us Christians can't wait to see Jesus. I ain't got time to be scared. Amen, brother. So all you people scared of getting baptized, there's something worse out there than getting baptized. And like the man said, you don't want to go to hell. You think it's hot right now? Woo-wee! You ready, guys, dirt? All right. Speaking of baptized, brother, you guys ready to be baptized? We're about to do a song talking about being baptized. And we're not talking about coming up here and getting in a, uh, a little 